Hello, this is Hakuna Bean, and today we are going to be reading about a room called The Code. If you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. The Code. Survival Difficulty. Class Fixer Upper. Big messes everywhere. Really easy to get lost. Lots of mean entities. The code is the very latest attempt of ours to spruce up an otherwise unlivable level. While it has been successful quite yet, a little bigger and uh, some trial and error might do us uh, some good. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Let's look at this place. The calibration is terrible. Description. Oh boy, where to start with this level? When we first lo learned of it, the reports varied widely from person to person. It was a real mess. As our inside, a little bit of each account ended up being true. The level changed so often that almost anything is possible in its generation. Walls flip between each other all the time, the floors are hideous, there's terrible bright lights that flash from every window. What's worse is that there are entities everywhere. Non exaggeration. There are these things called gnolls, hounds, and let's not even talk about that thing that hides in the ceiling. We're gonna need a, a real good exterminator for this one. Remodeling attempts. It seems that the code was much harder to crack than we first anticipated. It's got quite a few entities, as we usually do, but it's also got a lot of nasty no clipping spots, and the layout seems to be ever changing. Task for our 882CX saw it all firsthand and paid a price for it as well. We haven't heard of, uh, out of Danny or the rest of the task force since her, since her last transmission. Major High. Report 1. Hey, so it's Danny. You are right about one thing. This place is a mess. Serious issues. It might be the most unstable one I've seen so far. Every wall is shifting all over the place, and we haven't found a complete stable patch of ground since we arrived. It kind of looks like a police station. I guess that, that's what they were going for. Uh, well, anyways, I'll get started on this right away. If you have too much trouble with the, with the job, I'll let you know, but I promise I won't let you down. Danny from Team 882CX. Danny here again. So we've had a, quite a few of our guys clip straight through the floor already. But I think we're making progress with that. The freshers aren't helping as much as usual, but at least the floors aren't making that sound anymore. So that's good. All of our basics, that's what NC-132, the other tab that you see up in the corner there, is just wired off somewhere. But you know how those idiots are sometimes. There's also these things I think we were read from before. The mech called them gnolls. They're weird black blobs that float around and scream at anyone they see. Can't stand the things. Obviously, uh, otherwise, this place isn't too bad. Jim got crushed between one of the walls, but that stuff's inevitable. Danny, Team 882CX. We found out where all the basics went. It's not good. I need it back up. Now, sit in as soon as you read this. Thanks. Hey, didn't send the backup, huh? Well, good for you. Anyway, it turns out the basics are mad. Really mad. They've sent something like them after us. And said pulling the guys, it's pull guys up into the ceiling, which isn't so good. Not sure where it's taking them either. So, um, yeah, we polished the floors a little bit, though. And the final report. It got bigger. This was a bad idea. I quit, by the way. Since Task Force 882CX and several other attempts to remodel the code have been made unsuccessfully, but hey, that's never stopped us before. We're all sure that no matter how many of us we need to throw at it, we will fix this place. Bases, outposts, and communities. Are you kidding? No, not yet. Entrances and exits. Entrances. Watch out! We've got no idea uh, uh, how exactly this works, but we think any power outage in any level might lead to the code. Exits. No clipping always works, 
But who knows where you'll end up doing that? Now let's read about NC-132. Oh my goodness. I'm going to read it in the same voice. And see, 132. And see, number 132. Habitat. Majority. More common in levels relate, related to the group backgrounds through modeling and co. NT-132 is what appears to be a type of, of employee of the mysterious group of interest backrooms remodeling company. Though instead of a regular head, it appears to have been replaced by a vintage salvage from the 1960s and forward. They appear to not be as sentient as regular employees, unable to speak besides the noises that emanate from their heads. And this recreation of an NT-132 is a scene on level 0.2 before it collapsed, a presumed dead. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah. Unable to speak to the sides of the noise emanating from their head and only able to accomplish simple movements. Instead of a regular insignia that would re regularly be there's a ring face on the metal used, all insignias on NT-132 instances are replaced by cloth patches ironed onto their berets. This may suggest that NT-132 instances are the lowest possible rank. Perhaps used as in punishment for employees who failed their purpose. More research pending. Behaviors. NT-132 insists can be found throughout the UE backrooms appearing to wander in any direction. Compared to their higher ranking counterparts in backrooms of Rowling and Company, they are considerably less able to perform cognitive function and movement. They appear to only be able to do simple actions, most commonly waving upon noticing something. They also do not appear to register anything said to them, only sometimes tilting their head in confusion. While their definite function has not been proven yet, they seem to be used for advertisement for a backrooms remodeling company. Many separate housing and remodeling ads play on their screens as they walk, and sometimes cut suddenly to a different one as the previous one had even if the previous one had not finished. Instances of NC-132 by all means are average backrooms to bottling company employees, the only difference between their heads replaced by vintage televisions. So the televisions run adverse for backrooms to bottling company services, including but not limited to housing, remodeling, furnishing. No power source is connected to the television itself. And upon investigation of the deceased NC-132 instance, the inside of the television appears for the most part regular. Discovery! A corpse of an NC-132 was found on at level 188. Soon after, a living NC-132 instance was found watering in level 7 and 77. Do's and don'ts. Do leave NC-132 alone. They are harmful. Oh. Don't patronize or attack NC-132 instances. We do not know yet their full connection to the back to back the rally company, and a war with them it really isn't in our best interest. They're also apparently called the basics. I'm not sure if that's like some form of a slur or just a different name for them. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, but until then, goodbye!